Hi everybody, we're doing another ranked duel, you know, full gameplay today. Um, I think today we're going to play Athena. Um, I want to get through all the Guardians with full gameplay because, um, you know, it's more informative. I'm really surprised on the feedback on the last video. Like, I was thinking it's going to be like Mez and Yaz, but like there's a lot of people that's like, I like full gameplay more. I really enjoy full gameplay. And then there's also another perspective I didn't think where people are like, I just like watching full gameplay while I'm doing something else because it doesn't really take that much focus. But like, um, you know, it's something that they can watch while doing something else. And I didn't even realize that when I was thinking about like, you know, how people have the time to watch these sometimes. <laughs> Let's see. So I'm banning Hebo, Agni, Poseidon, and Vulcan. Um, they ban Anubis because they're all mages. They're not necessarily broken, but they are really annoying to deal with. Um, I've beaten Vulcan, Poseidon, and the Agni with Athena. Like Athena's probably one of the better ones to go up against them because she has the dash and the taunt, so she can like get really close. However, um, it's still still really annoying to deal with. I'd rather have deal with a hunter or something. Let's let's see what they have up their sleeves. So Athena, she can't use her ultimate, but this beautiful, beautiful thing called her passive. After using the ability, Athena's next base attack is a ranged attack, hitting all enemies it passes through. It deals initially 15% of her magical power as damage after every ability. And then of course her one has a, what's, where's her one? Her one gives block stacks, kind of like Bologna, where it'll just absorb the basic attack. So if you can get that stacked up, you know, they can't do any damage to you. Ooh, uh, five stars? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six stars. Hoi, all right. Um, Hoi's kind of a pain to deal with. I always go back and forth between getting sprint to like sprint out of his ult before he can ricochet you and beads. Because with beads, you take a little bit more damage, but you get out of it guaranteed. With sprint, you kind of have to juke the ricochet when he ults. So on Athena, I like going Mage's Blessing into Boots, um, Chalice of Healing, and then also I think we'll get the beads to be safe. Another another option is shell to just kind of absorb it, but I feel like it's it doesn't always work. If we're caught without our dash, shell is we'll just die still. Yeah, but um, a lot of people think that Athena would be one of the worst gods in duel just simply because she can't use her ultimate. Whereas I think she's one of the way better guardians because of her passive. She can take objectives so fast. Polynomicon, Polynomicon plus her, plus her passive is. 90% of your magical power Which is you know, that's pretty insane Okay, let's see if I can there's a way there's a way you can clear with you know, that's nice You want to take aggro of the minions after you dash, but I can't always do it. So I, I want to try it here Unless he blocks my dash then of course I can't do it. Yeah Yeah, I couldn't do it there, but Athena's clear is still really fast without it. What I like to do is I like to dash to the archers, use my basic attack through the wave, or through the archers, and I try to hit Hoi so that the melees come close to me. Then I use my three and hit all of the minions. I'll try and do it here. Although if he just blocks my one, then I can't do it. I mean, I can still, you know, poke him, of course. Let's see. So if I can hit him. Nah, I missed. You have to hit him. That's the thing. Yeah, but right now my clear's better. Don't want to get ricocheted. Also, Athena has pretty good poke. Surprised he waited there on the, the leap. I could have dashed him if I had the mana for it. I think he's going to try and ricochet me and try and kill me. Ah, oh, that sucks. Did that use my mana? It looked like it used my mana there, but then gave me the mana back. Very strange. Okay, we're running on mana. Got to back up before you know he ults and kills us. How much mana does he have left? He's another potion. All right. That sucks because I stayed in that ult for quite a bit. Took a lot of damage from that. Really hoping he misses this ricochet that he's trying to aim up for. Okay, he's just gonna go for. Mm. Ah, uh, he had it. I think that was a bit of luck, and, you know. So, we're giving up red buff, that's okay. Um, funny enough, Athena's late game is actually the strongest. Because her scaling 
nothing is talking. <laughs> because her scaling is so high, you can just, you know, just her basic attacks alone with three abilities, that's what, 45% of your magical power? So it's like you have a fourth ability. It has super long range too. So to get the block stacks, you can see them in the right above here. You can see the block stacks right here. With Athena, you have to hit an an enemy in order to, for it to get the stack. You have to hit it with your one. So you have to charge a dash and hit a minion or something. So if you do that, you can get it stacked up to three, which helps a lot in the next fight. Like late game, that you're that's like preventing like 900 damage. Maybe even like 1200. Let's see. So let's see, he's going for Devos. Does, can he afford Devos yet? Yeah, I really hope not. He might be able to. Yeah, he did. That's fine. Ah, uh, so there's a bug with Dino where if you use a base attack, it doesn't actually come out. I think it's latency, unfortunately. But uh, the combo is to dash into them, throw a base attack, do your three, throw a base attack, use your two, throw a base attack. Of course, he can leap though. So sometimes, sometimes I'm just gonna use the two first because he's you know able to leap so easily. Like here, I might. Okay, he almost got out. Do you see my base attack didn't come out there? I it, I guess it's latency though. But sometimes Athena won't throw the base attack immediately after ability. I think it's just lag. What's my ping at? 80? That's not. That's so low. I don't know why it does that. Maybe I'm just doing it too early. Maybe I have to wait a bit. Very strange. It's inconsistent though. I think his blue buff is up. I just wanted him to waste his ricochet. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's actually down. I can actually do a little bit of damage here. I'm gonna level up the two twice because the level two taunt, um, you can keep them in your three, whereas the level one taunt, they can actually walk out of it. So it's actually worth leveling it up because the bonus damage on the three for the secondary hits so high. Let's see if we can do it here. I think we can. I think this is a kill. Yeah, if we didn't level up the two, we probably would have been able to walk out of that. So that was good. I was able to go there because I knew his three was down and my kit was up. He should. He should have fell. You know, he sh he, sh he has to play really far back if his leap is down. And he's half health because I can just kill him. So next in the build. Um, it's gonna be breastplate. After breastplate, I'm gonna buy um, what's this item? Polynomicon. I'm gonna get Polynomicon before my pen because obsidian doesn't apply to towers anyways. If I have my poly early, I can actually take towers like pretty fast. Athena is one of the very few gods I would go poly this early on, just because once she gets poly, she basically wins. I used to build it like really late in the game, but then I just, I just would lose up until I get poly and I would, you know, it's just not good. Okay, that's his bracer. He's dead, I think. Well, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Okay. I should have used my three first. Ah, uh, that would have been a kill if I used my three first. He, his leap was down. There's no way he was going to get out of it. Okay, I can actually kill him with my passive here or my two. Yeah, he's dead. I think he was waiting to get his ricochet and triple shot me, like here. Which, you know, would have been hard to do, but still. Um, but since I have my passive, I, I can hit him. Even if I he didn't come in range of my taunt, I could use my taunt, throw in the basic, use my three, throw in a basic, and he would have died. Nice full CD hack. Dude, I'm hacking, man. Yes, I have 40% cooldown with these items. Very observant he is. Um, let's go a nice obsidian. No, wait, no, Polly. Enjoy ban idiot? Oh man, I'm so happy that he's BMing me. I don't know. It's just, it's just so fun to like be ahead and the guy just starts BMing. Enjoy the ban. How many stars did you have again, buddy? Six? I think it was six. Now the question is, is he going to report me after the game or not? Here, let me... 
<laughs> I, I do so much damage to this guy. Dude, you're dying like crazy. Oh, you're dead, buddy. Oh, maybe not. No, I have full cooldown. I have my full cooldown hacks, so he should be dead still. I'm gonna place a ward over there. I just want him to place a ward in waves, that way I can know if he's going that way. Speed hack? Dude, I used my dash twice. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to get my poly online. But yeah, Athena, seriously, she's one of the better guardians in duel. Way better than most. Uh, she's probably in the top four, for me at least. Maybe I would put her in top three, but um, that might just be because I'm not as good with some of the other guardians as I am with Athena. I'm, I almost have Athena Diamond. I love this skin so much. It's like law enforcement when they're, when they're DMing. Die! Oh, I missed. Can I still kill him? Or is he going to leap? Oh, he's not going to leap. I would go on him, but his leap is up. I might still go on him. Okay, he might actually kill me here, and I really don't want that. But it would be so fun to kill him right now. Let's see. I have my abilities up. And he just missed, so... Yeah. I mean, I had my beads, like, worst case scenario, so I could run away. Nice teleport? What are you talking about, dude? I'm not teleporting. I'm dashing. Athena has a dash. Let's recall before, uh, you know, he does some funky stuff. Okay, now we get our... Well, actually, okay, I've been theorizing. Would Demonic be better on her? I could go Demonic... I always go up say I want to try demonic. I want to try demonic. We're doing new stuff here, but I, I just feel like because her base attacks are, you know, where what makes her good. I feel like demonic would be good. Plus her range base attacks. Mm -hmm. Plus Obsidian got nerfed. I'm kind of salty about that. I'm trying to find new things. Like I learned recently, because I'm still learning things in the game, that demonic applies before flat pen reduction. So demonic applies before spear or void stone. So demonic and void stone actually works together extremely well. Same thing with demonic and spear for really tanky targets. So I think that's gonna be my new go-to for people that go like three tank items. When obsidian, which what's funny is obsidian should be better, but they just have too many protections after reducing it. And Demonic, you know, it applies before Obsidian, so that doesn't work too well. And so does Spear. But, if Demonic applies before Spear, they're not going to have that many protections left. However, I don't think Spear of the Mages would be that great on Athena. Only with full cooldown. We can just... Actually, we have Poly, we can just start doing this. And just poking down his Phoenix. Yeah, so now it's just a waiting game of uh, how fast I can poke down this phoenix because he's just going to keep running away like that. Alright, now I'm a little low health. I have to go back. Get the bug again. Alright, I have my beads. Alright, we're good, we're good. Oh, why didn't he leave? He altered instead. I don't like that decision. Might be able to kill him here. Mm, I love the the charge on the one. It's like a like you know, like place reinforcements. It's perfect. Also, another thing with this series, I am going to get another, like, a better mic, but I just can't. 
Oh, am I gonna die? Nice, you've skills three seg CD, nice hack. I don't know what that means, to be honest. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, when I was talking about Void Zone, I was talking about other matchups. Um, okay, we have Demonic. Gem Viso used to apply on the base tax, but it doesn't anymore, so I don't like that. Um, do, do, Celestial's pretty nice. The reason I like Celestial, it's 90 defense. You get uh, 60 power, that's the main reason I like it. And on Athena, you have the block stack, so he can't really strip it away with easily, you know? Because I'm going to be using my blocks. You actually took it, man? Oh, you're dead. I should have waited for my two to be up, unfortunately. Oh no, he might get away. Wait, wait. I blink. I love having wards to just know which way they go 100%. Uh, I don't. I can't really feel the demonic doing much for me. But obsidian doesn't help take towers at all. Whereas demonic helps at least a little bit. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the demonic on Athena. I've been going demonic a lot more on Ymir though. It's been help. It's been going really well. Same thing with Geb. Yeah, but um, also for the next Guardian Duel Montage, I have a Thrall pull I'll put in the description. It seems like Ganesh is going to win. Whoops. Athena, Ganesh, and Gab are all pretty much tied. Alright, now he's going to Titans it, so we got to gotta run away a little bit and get our other items. The more power we have, the more powerful we become because of our scaling. So this kind of helps towards the, you know, the percent power. Last item, I probably want, I want a, a big power item, but I also want pen. I think divine ruin would be nice. Since he's gonna be running away into fountain a lot, just keep him from healing and then we can just kill Titan. Divine ruin doesn't give as much power as I would like, but it gives 15 pen, so I like that. Flat pen with percent pen is always good. Do my auto attacks do more than his? Whoops. My auto attacks hit for 56. How much do you do yours hit for? That triple ricochet hit me for nothing. Whoops. Please tell me he's dead. Oh, I would dive if I had Divine Rune. If I had Divine Rune, I would dive. Because I'm a greedy player, but I didn't have Divine Rune. I used my abilities a little bit not well efficiently there. The 3 and 2 is always the best if his leap is down. But if his leap is up, then nope. Alright, he used his ult to clear wave. That's fine, because there's always next wave. Also, once my blue buff runs out, I should take red buff. I'm going to try and keep him pressured. Should I just go into his base and buy Divine Ruin? <laughs> Did you buy Obo? You bought Obo Hoi? Oh, dude. No! Oh, I missed! No! Oh, his uh, Phoenix is about to come up. Mm, do I stay? If I stay, I might die and then he'll win. Okay, we should be safe now, because he's the yeah, Phoenix. Just one shot that Phoenix, jeez. Yeah, let's play it safe. I don't want to lose. Like, I'm, I really don't see myself losing. But, I mean, I don't want to die, you know. We'll just take this and back and get to my rune. Because we don't have any healing in it right now. These are the only, you know, chalices are the only healing we get. And a little bit of life still from Polly. The only good thing about Polly is really the passive. Like, it only gives 75 power, 
the 300 mana is nice, I guess, on like a Kulkin or if you have Book Thoth. The life steal is like nothing. So it's just the passive, really. Like seriously, this de defense item, which is a big defense item, gives 60 power, which is almost as much as Poly, which gives no defense at all. I could use my beads. So I don't think I'm going to. Oh man. I might have to wait one more wave to, to win the game. Oh wait, he's full health. I'm half health. Is he going to kill me here? Let's see. We'll go when the mark is down. I messed up. I messed up pretty badly. Okay, let's see. He might fight us in the fire minions. No, I gotta go back, unfortunately. Ah, that sucks because this titan's so low, but I really don't want to die. By the way, level 15 is when Athena's at her strongest, technically, like, level-wise. But I still say she gets way better late game with, you know, power. Like, now I'm going to be hitting him really hard. This is about the strongest I get with this build. Whoops. Yeah, I don't know about the demonic. Whoops. It doesn't give that much power as... Does it give less power than Obsidian? I think it does. I didn't even have to hit him. Let's see, it gives how much? 50 power? Yeah, so it gives less than Obsidian. Oh, yeah, okay, so change of plans. If you're going Athena, go Obsidian. I'm trying Demonic on different Guardians now, though, because I don't like the new Obsidian, how it doesn't apply to structures and stuff like that. Enjoy ban, idiot? All right, I will, man. I will enjoy my ban. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I kind of... Man, that, ga that game was just so one-sided. I want to have closer games, you know? I don't want to be like, oh, I'm uploading the only one that works. Like, I just recorded the first game, and this one was it. For Ymir, I did multiple games because I was against a Smurf, like a Grandmaster, and that's, like, not my level. All right, but good game, everybody. Uh, I got demoted again. I'm trying to get back to Diamond. Uh, tell me what other gods you want to see full gameplay of. Make sure to vote for the next uh, Guardian Duel, and thank you for the feedback on these. I hope this was helpful. I, I feel like I wasn't as informative as I was in the other video, but I'm trying to be. Also, new bike will be coming in soon, but thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Oh, and he did report me for poor behavior. Whoops.